What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna explain exactly what mortgage life insurance is and how that differs from standard or regular life insurance. So with that, let's get into the video. If you've bought a home in the past or you just recently purchased a house, you'll know that when you go into the bank or you talk to your mortgage broker, they offer you this mortgage life insurance when you're doing your, your mortgage, when you're uh, filling out the paperwork and you're getting your house, okay? So what is mortgage life insurance? So essentially what mortgage life insurance is in Canada is is insurance that's offered through the bank that will cover the remainder of your mortgage should you pass away, okay? So this is actually what's known as a group life insurance policy or a group policy. So the bank will essentially uh, collect a whole bunch of people into this group and that'll be the mortgage life insurance, okay? And so how this differs from regular life insurance is a number of different ways. So the first way is, is the bank is actually the owner and is the beneficiary of the policy. So if you pass away, uh, none of your other loved ones, your spouse or anyone else is gonna get any of those funds. So it's gonna go directly to the bank and it's gonna directly pay off that mortgage, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is it's always based upon on what your mortgage is. So the premium will be fixed. And this is one of the downfalls to mortgage life insurance is the premium will be fixed. However, the uh, benefit will always be declining because you'll be paying off your mortgage. So in the first few years, maybe your mortgage is half a million dollars, um, but as the years go on, you start to pay it down. Maybe it's 400,000, 300,000, 200,000. Um, if you would pass away, it's only gonna pay that specific portion. However, you're continuing to pay the premium that you started it with. It's a fixed premium, okay? So it's a declining benefit, which isn't really a good thing. Another thing that's kind of a, uh, I'll say, uh, well, I'm not even gonna say 50-50, I'm gonna say it's a negative thing about life, or uh, mortgage insurance, pardon me, is, and by the way, when I'm saying mortgage insurance, I'm talking about mortgage life insurance. And this video is specifically about mortgage life insurance. There are some mortgage insurance products that I actually really like. Um, for example, mortgage disability can be a really good option because it's known as a non-integrated benefit. So it doesn't talk to any of the other uh, disability benefits and reduce it overall should you have a disability. So I actually really like that benefit. And I'll make another video on that, um, especially if you guys are interested in that. But I'm specifically talking about mortgage life insurance, okay? Now, a big problem that I have with mortgage life insurance is they are what's known as post underwritten. So what is post underwritten? What does this mean? So when you go into the bank and you look at the application, there's gonna be a set of questions there and you're gonna go through the questionnaire. This is usually at the end of a long day, you're buying your house, you're filling out a ton of paperwork, you're excited to move in, maybe it's your first house, you just wanna get the whole thing over with. And the guy says, or the girl says, um, yeah, would you like to, to cover yourself and, and buy life insurance on the mortgage? You say, oh, that's, that sounds like a really good idea. Let's say, we'll tack it onto your mortgage payment, you don't even need to think about it. That sounds like a great idea. So they hand you this quick little sheet of paper, it says just answer yes or no to these questions. And so you read the questions quite quickly, um, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 done, done, done. The problem with this is they take that sheet of paper, they file it away in that application and they don't look at it. Then what happens is should you pass away, they then take that sheet of paper out, they look at it and they say, okay, he answered no to all these medical questions, let's make sure that this is true. Then they're gonna look into your history, your medical records and everything else. And if they find any discrepancy between uh, your application and between uh, your, in reality, what you're actually doing, they'll decline the claim. Okay, and this isn't some negligence or, or some nefarious act, pardon me, that people are trying to do and lie on the application. Sometimes you're just in a hurry and you're writing the application and it's just, no, 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 maybe you don't understand the question. The, the bank uh, teller, the mortgage broker, isn't a life insurance agent. Maybe they don't understand the questions either. And you just fill it out really quickly. You don't think anything of it. You think if there was a mistake, they would find it. Well, no, they'll find it if you pass away and then deny the claim. And this is actually quite common. If you Google, um, uh, mortgage life insurance deny payout. If you just put it on Google, you'll find tons of stories in Canada about mortgage life insurance not paying out because of these reasons. So how does actual life insurance do this? Well, actual life insurance is pre-underwritten. So what does that mean? Pre-underwritten means you do essentially the same thing. There'll be a, a big list of questions. You'll fill out all these questions. The difference is 
the insurance company will look at those questions and then look at reality and then they will match it and say, okay, this is what you said. However, we found this record of yours. Can you explain this? Why is it like this, right? And then it, if you did pass away, let's say you, you had the application, it was approved. Five years later, you passed away. Then they're not gonna look at the application and make sure things line up. They already know they line up. It's pre-underwritten. So that's one of my biggest concerns with mortgage life insurance. Um, regular life insurance is just a little bit better product in that regard. You can choose your own beneficiaries. It's not a decline in benefit. It's always gonna be for the same amount. In some cases, in most cases, it can be a lot cheaper than mortgage life insurance because with mortgage life insurance, they're grouping you together with a whole bunch of different people and not really looking just specifically at you. And because it's such a general application, they group it in a large group. Whereas if you're a really healthy individual and you don't have any health issues and any bad lifestyle decisions and things like that, you'll probably get a cheaper policy going through life insurance. So that's essentially the difference between mortgage life insurance and regular life insurance. By the way, I will put this in every single video. If you are interested in getting term life insurance quotes online, I'm the CEO of a company called Affinity life. We're essentially an online life insurance marketplace where you can view quotes and apply 100% online. I'll put the link in the description for you to look at that. Other than that, I hope that answers your question. If you have any comments, if you have any other questions or any other video ideas, let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully that's better now in mid. Ah, uh, more coffee. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely more coffee. Definitely more coffee. Definitely more coffee. Okay. Uh, offered through bank. Okay, it's different than mortgage loan insurance, which is necessary with a down payment. Okay. Owned by policyholder. Post under. Choose term of your choice. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Ba ba ba. Yeah.